Hello everybody. Here we have a next Oracle database interview question which is related to the Oracle 12C multi-tenant. So here the next Oracle database interview question is how to connect to the Oracle pluggable database by a Oracle user. So by default, if you are doing like this SQL plus as a CBA, it will connect to the container database. And when we have a user, uh, maybe it's an application user and they want to connect to the pluggable database. So in that case, what we can do, uh, let us say in a practical way. So I have a Oracle 12C already installed on the Windows 7. So if you do like this SQL plus slash as a CCPA show connection underscore name here you will find that it is connected to the container database we have a two, two PDBs inside this container database the first one is a by default seed and second one PDB DB1 and now we are going to connect to the pluggable database with the name PDB DB1 there are certain things that you need to take care when you want to connect to the pluggable database the first one is your listener should be up and running second thing database should be up and running and the third which is really important and most of the times we will be skipping this part which is related to, to the TNS names.ora so the entry for the pluggable database should be available inside the TNS names.ora and if the entry is there then and only then we can do the TNS ping so let us see all those things in a practical way we have one user already created inside the pluggable database uh, having the name check user let me connect to the pluggable database ultra pluggable ultra session set container equals to pluggable database name so we have a user with the name username from db underscore users where username equals to check user so we have a user with the name check user and we will try to plug connect to the pluggable database with the same user As I said earlier the first thing that we need to check listener should be up and running and second is database should be up and running so here you can see the pdb database is in read write mode so uh, there should not be any issue with the pluggable database second thing we are going to check the listener status and the listener name which is the default one listener only and here you can see the listener with the name listener it is listening to the pdb db1 database So this point is also clear and third thing is TNS names.ora when we check these things you will find this is a listener.ora and the same location you will find a TNS names.ora I have already opened this TNS names.ora here and you can check the path which is going to the app directory here we have a entry for the container databases but we don't have any entry for the pluggable database so what we can do uh, we can use the net CA utility through which we can add the entry again if you are not uh, much interested to use the net CA you can just copy this thing and paste the same thing over here make sure there should not be any uh, a gap in between this because sometimes it will not uh, take this the entry so I'm just changing our pluggable database name over here. The pluggable database name is pdbdb1. So make sure you just mention the pdbdb1 here. And the host name is at this point localhost. 
uh, port will be the same and service number which is really important pdb db1 once all the changes are done you just need to save it by using the command control s if you are using the windows platform once and now this is looking fine and let me try to connect so before that we need to do the tns ping so that uh, we will come to know whether it is pinging here you can see it is pinging to the pdb db1 and now we will be try to connect to the pdb database by using the check user so sql plus username is check user password is test and the service name at the rate pdb db1 okay and enter here it here you can see it has connected to the sql plus utility in order to cross check show connection underscore name from this thing you can come to know that it has connected to the pdb db1 database okay let us assume that we are just going to remove this entry and what will happen i am just saving it and coming back let's try to come let's try to connect one more time now i have just removed the pdb db1 entry from the tns names.ora and trying to connect to the sql plus utility by using the check user but here you can see it is taking a long while and finally we got the error message tns could not resolve the connect identifier even if you try to do the tns ping pdb db1 it will not be able to do the tns ping because we should have the entry in the tns names.ora so i am just making the changes like this and now it is resolving the name so this is how we can connect to the pluggable database so these are all things that we need to take care the database should be up and running listener should be up and running and the third most important thing is there should be an entry in the tns names.ora for the pluggable database Thank you.